What one man calls God, another, calls, the laws of physics. We crave for new sensations but, soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common, occurrences. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation, after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. The gift of mental power comes from God, divine being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we become in tune with this great power. The individual is ephemeral, races and nations come and pass away, but man remains. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction, or any other willful effort of the brain, is futile. It's not, the love you make. It's the love you give. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world, that they are wholly oblivious, to what is passing on within themselves. Inventors, don't have time for married life. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle, are the influences that shape our destinies. A new idea, must not be judged, by its immediate results. Our virtues, and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Be alone, that is the secret, of invention. If you only knew, the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have a key to the universe. To know each other, we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. These are only new devices for putting the weak at the mercy of the strong. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. We are all one. Only egos, beliefs, and fears separate us.